In the dusty roads of Australia, a man experienced something unexpected and remarkable. On the side of the road, he found an abandoned creature in desperate need of help. It seemed almost skinless, no different from an infant, an indescribable being. The man decided to intervene and took the forlorn creature under his care. He took it home, tenderly nurtured it, and nourished it with warm milk. He also cared for its broken hind leg. Over time, he realized that he had rescued a vulnerable kangaroo joey. A surprising friendship blossomed between them. The kangaroo became his constant companion, even joining him on his way to work. To the kangaroo, he had become its mother figure, and it grew strong and big under his care. Eventually, the man released it back into the wild, but the kangaroo continued to visit him. Then one day, it made the grandest gesture of all. It returned with a group of friends. The trust these kangaroos placed in the man was astonishing. If you encountered such a young animal, would you open your home and raise it? How would you take care of it? I'm curious to read your thoughts and experiences in the comments. Kindness always prevails. Good people are always kind. Yes, they came across a dog on the street. The dog was really suffering. You see, this dog, being a puppy, couldn't eat anything due to pain. People wondered what happened to this dog. A passing farmer took a look at it, checked its mouth, and what did he find? There were four or five splinters stuck in its mouth like pieces of wood. This kind-hearted man quickly took a pair of scissors and removed the splinters from the dog's mouth. Yes, as soon as the dog was freed, it felt relieved. So if you were in such a situation and saw a dog like this, would you help? Would you risk being bitten while trying to remove these splinters stuck between its teeth? I would. God is great. Kindness always prevails. I love you all. Subscribe to my channel and don't miss these types of videos. Oh my God, winter has arrived and it's extremely cold. And what do we witness? A duck frozen on the surface of a lake, desperately needing help. It seems that even ducks can freeze in such chilly weather. This man spots the duck, immobilized in the ice, and attempts to rescue it. It's truly heartbreaking. The duck had even sustained injuries while struggling to escape. The man manages to save it, and the duck appears to be quite relieved to be rescued. It's a dreadful situation. Just imagine, it had been trapped in the ice for hours, nearly completely frozen. Its beak had even started to turn blue. The man is overjoyed as he rescues the duck, not laughing but genuinely happy to save it. Good people. They are truly wonderful. We owe a great deal of gratitude to these kind-hearted individuals, lifesavers. This man takes the duck to a warm room, feeds it, and nurses it back to health. Would you have helped a duck or any other animal in such a situation? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'm close to reaching 1 million subscribers. Just kidding, there's still a long way to go, but don't forget to subscribe. It's all a matter of chance. You never know what might happen to you, where or when. A similar stroke of luck occurred in Russia. A farmer was working in the heat on his field when he noticed something very strange under the plants. Oh my God, he exclaimed. It was a Mediterranean chameleon. The chameleon was literally fainting from the heat and on the verge of death. Initially, he tried to revive it by giving it some water. He washed it, gave it a massage and offered more water. Incredibly, the tiny chameleon came back to life. This guy was a true hero. He took it to his home, provided treatment, nourished it, and nursed it back to health. It became his closest friend. If you were in his shoes, would you release it back into nature? Or would you continue to care for it at home? Subscribe to not miss such stories. A Chinese Hello, dear friends. Imagine you were on the road, and you encountered a rabbit in need of help. What would you do? Would you consider having it for dinner? Or would you choose to lend a helping hand? We prefer to do a good deed, let others enjoy their meal. Just like this man decided, after a rabbit with slight injuries from an attack is found on the side of the road, he takes good care of it. He treats its wounds, feeds it, gives it water, and helps nurse the rabbit back to health. Of course, it also needs some rest. This kind-hearted man nurses the rabbit back to health and releases it back into the wild. If you were in the same situation, would you do the same? If you would help, Right, I'd help in the comments. And don't forget to like the video. I love you all. Goodbye. While walking on the beach, you witness a gigantic white shark stranded on the shore. Would you offer help? A group of men is attempting to rescue this formidable predator. Indeed, it's a terrifying shark with teeth large enough to unsettle onlookers. Hard as it is to believe, these people are trying to help the shark. In doing so, they are risking their lives. The shark could turn and attack them at any moment. Even as an observer, I felt a profound sense of fear. Can you see how fearsome its teeth are? How monstrous, how immense, 
and yet the men are pulling it towards the sea. As soon as they release it, they retreat hastily, trying to escape any danger. Yes, and as you can see, the shark has regained its freedom. A one in a billion event occurred to this diver. Life took an unexpected turn as a fish of Laotian origin attempted to eat what seemed to be an adorable little spiky pufferfish. Just as the diver was about to consume the pufferfish, it suddenly started inflating like a balloon. The Laotian fish was unable to eat its prey and couldn't comprehend what was happening. The tiny pufferfish, swelling in its mouth, became the end of the giant Laotian fish. It's a purely coincidental occurrence. A short time later, another diver came across this scene and provided assistance to the puffer fish. This teaches us that it's not the size, but the function of everything that matters. If you enjoy stories like these, please remember to follow us and subscribe to our channel. You are important to us. You are loved. While walking down the road, you see a fox with its head stuck in a chip bag. You want to help, but then you hesitate, as if the devil got into you. Here lies the dilemma. Initially, the man rushes to assist the fox. Then he asks himself, why should I help? And reveals a heartless side, leaving the fox in its unfortunate state. This man truly deserves condemnation. It's tragic. That animal has the right to live too. If you help a fox with a chip bag stuck on its head, what's the worst that could happen? Let's not tolerate such individuals among us. Kindness should always prevail. Let's be good. Let's spread goodness in the world. I want my channel to reach 1 million subscribers. Please help and support us to achieve 1 million subscribers. Take care of yourselves. Watching this video, it's impossible not to be moved. A man spots a puppy by the roadside trash. Shockingly, someone has cruelly taped the puppy's head, covering its ears completely and barely leaving its eyes visible. It was as if they intended to kill the puppy. Starving, the dog struggles to eat. Unable to ignore this, the man picks up the puppy and attempts to remove the tape. The tape is wrapped so tightly it's agonizing. Thankfully, there are good people in this world. He gently removes the tape and cleans the puppy with a damp cloth as it's in shock. The poor thing is young, hungry and sick. After cleaning it up, he gives the puppy some food and water. The dog is famished and in desperate need of help. This kind-hearted man takes it to a vet for treatment and later finds it a loving home. What would you do if you saw a dog in such a condition? Would you help? Down with cruel people. Long live the kind-hearted. For more videos like this, follow and subscribe to our channel. A young fisherman experienced something that can be described as the last thing you'd ever want or not want to happen to anyone. He was fishing, having just cast his jig and had caught a nice fish. He was reeling it in towards the shore. It was a big one, about two kilograms, just as he was about to pull the fish ashore, guess what happened? As he brought it to the shore, a shark bit the fish in half. The man pulled up his line in shock, finding only half of his fish. Oh my God, he says, a shark. I've got my eye on you now. What do you think he does next? Frustrated, the man catches the bothersome shark and turns it into his dinner. What do we learn from this, friends? Don't be too confident just because you're strong. You could end up on the end of someone's fishing line at any moment. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe.